As I'm sure you can guess, St. Joseph lives an unusual life. The Gospels relate how he nearly left Our Lady when she mysteriously conceived Our Lord. Why has the way he reacted to such a mysterious situation been admired throughout the ages? Stay tuned. Hello everyone, my name is Augustine Long, and welcome to America Needs Fatima. I am looking forward to talking all about one of my favorite Catholic saints today. Be sure to hit subscribe and click the notification bell to never miss out on another story of Mary. The story of St. Joseph is one filled with trials and tribulation. It causes us to reflect upon our role in this life and how we can live it more virtuously. The role that St. Joseph was given was that of protector. He was faced with something that would take the wind out of anyone's sail, but he approached it with an admirable degree of logic and calm. Let us turn to the words of Professor Plinio Correa de Oliveira, prominent Brazilian Catholic thinker, regarding St. Joseph's unique situation. Quote, it was the well-known episode when he saw that Our Lady had conceived a child of which he was not the father. The Gospel mentions the matter because he was faced with an absurd situation. On one hand, it was evident to him that Our Lady was a saint because her sanctity shone forth in every way. However, on the other hand, he faced a situation that he could neither explain nor live with. End quote. He did not react rashly or respond with fear, anger, or pride. He simply and humbly did what he thought would be the best for all involved. Quote, Instead of denouncing her, as was required by Hebrew law, he came to the only logical conclusion. The unnecessary person in this house is neither this holy mother, who is the owner and queen of this place, nor the child she has conceived. I am the unnecessary one. I will take my leave and vanish. I don't understand this mystery, but I will not rise up against it. I will spend my days far off venerating the mystery that I do not understand. He had decided to abandon the house and flee, leaving Our Lady alone with her mystery. It strikes me again, this calm and logical reaction, to see that without possessing all the facts, that he is an unnecessary factor in this equation, and to understand what must be done, or in this case, what he thinks must be done, to resolve it. Quote, he had to abandon the greatest treasure on earth, Our Lady. This was an, an immense and unimaginable suffering for him. End quote. It was not until he was instructed in a dream to do otherwise that saying and protecting became his new resolve. The Gospel of Matthew relates. Quote, but as he considered this, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. End quote. Did you notice that St. Joseph was resting when the angel appeared to him? Can you see the rational thinking behind this? It does not seem like such an important detail until you give it some consideration. He was about to travel, and so he was resting for the journey, overwhelmed by an enormous suffering. He slept nonetheless. The angel appeared to him explaining the situation. He went on sleeping. At dawn, he awoke, and life went on normally. This was the height of normality, the height of coherence, the height of logic. Consider how the serenity of Our Lady of Fatima, like that of St. Joseph, she remained calm throughout her apparitions, even in the confusion of showing the children the vision of hell. Her voice, her manner, her way of being, all calm. Let us follow the example of Our Lady and St. Joseph as we navigate our way through these times, as all around us we are faced with absurd situations. Let us ask St. Joseph to grant us the grace to practice logic to a heroic degree. Speaking of St. Joseph, 
Do you want to learn more about how to model your life after the silent saint? Check out our free Novena booklet in the link below. And last but not least, where do you find yourself this Lent? Overwhelmed? Uninspired? Please join us next time as we at American East Fatima share with you a very unique approach to our Lord's way of the cross. May God bless you and may Mary Immaculate keep you under her mantle.